Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited about this video. I've actually been wanting to do this for a while, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. So today's video is just gonna be about kind of where I'm at in terms of makeup and just beauty in general. So skincare, hair, makeup. I think if you've been following me over the past several months, maybe like four or five, six months, you can kind of see a little bit of a shift in how I do my makeup, just kind of my overall style of makeup. Um, I think I've always tended to be more on the natural side, but just recently I have gone very minimal with my makeup, very minimal with just my beauty routine. So I just wanted to sit down and chat about that um, and drink some coffee. And we're also just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I'm gonna show you just like my easy everyday makeup look when I'm actually putting makeup on my face. So if you'd like to, you can grab your makeup, you can do your makeup with me. If not, sit back, relax, grab yourself something to enjoy while you watch this video, something to drink, something to eat. Hopefully this video is fun and you know, for those of you who are more minimal with your makeup routine, maybe this will resonate with you and be helpful in some sort of way. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers. All right, so I've got all my makeup in this little bag. This is actually more makeup than what I wear from day to day, but I didn't wanna to be too boring. And if I did my actual like makeup that I do every day, it would take me five minutes and yeah. So I figured I would throw in some extra things in here just so the video wasn't super short and we can kind of sit and chat and makeup on. So um, I just have my Naturium Peptide Moisturizer on and my L to MD SPF and that is it. I haven't even done my brows yet. We're going to do it all together. So like I mentioned in the intro, um, I'm sure some of y'all have noticed that my beauty routine has become very, very minimal and a lot of that is just my lifestyle now. I feel like I just don't prioritize doing my makeup and getting ready every day because I'd rather do other things. Um, so that's a big part of it. Another part of it is just, I feel like at this stage in my life, I'm just embracing my natural beauty. Um, you know, I'm, I'm letting the imperfections show, the just the things that maybe I used to want to cover up and maybe be a little bit insecure about. I'm just kind of letting it all out. And I think a lot of that has come with my own journey just in terms of fitness and health. And I'm just really trying to take care of myself from the inside out. And I feel like when you do that, oftentimes those kinds of insecurities, uh, you know, physical insecurities on your appearance, they, for me, they just kind of gone away like of course there's always things I'm gonna be insecure about or things that I always want to improve on which I think is good because that means there's always room to grow we always want to be growing and be doing better every single day um, but when it comes to my makeup and my hair and I don't know so much a style I feel like in terms of what I wear I don't put so much pressure on myself um, honestly, most days I'm just wearing workout clothes. So I think in that aspect, like I just haven't worried about, oh, well, I don't want to like wear this, like a sports bra to the grocery store or, you know, to go pick up my kids or whatever. Like I just don't worry about that stuff anymore. Um, so I guess in that regard, my style has changed as well. But really I've seen a big difference and I've made a big shift in my skincare, makeup, hair, and not necessarily being more minimal because I feel like in my skincare and my hair I've actually become a little bit more, I, I've taken more time in those areas and that in turn has made me maybe take less time in my makeup. So I'm gonna apply makeup while I talk as well. I'll put everything down in the description box if I don't talk about it as I'm using it. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and Spot Conceal. I'm not doing any foundation today because I just don't wear foundation from day to day. I think that was honestly the biggest difference that has, the biggest change that I've made in my makeup routine is just completely taking out foundation because I used to wear foundation all the time. Like that was just 
a step in my routine that I never skipped. I always had some kind of foundation on and I've never been a full, full coverage foundation where I've always tended to go for uh, very lighter bases, very natural looking bases. So this is not like a huge change for me. It's not like I, you know, wore full glam every single day with lashes and all that stuff. And then I'm now going to like no foundation, no mascara. Like you'll, you'll kind of see my routine here in a little bit. But um, so I think I've always in some way been definitely more on the natural side, but I just feel like Foundation has always been something that I've used to feel just more comfortable with going out, leaving the house. And I just have eliminated that because I feel like I just don't care anymore. Like I don't care if I have a blemish showing or some redness or some, you know, hyperpigmentation, whatever, whatever it may be. Like, I honestly like that about my skin now. I like for my natural skin to show. And also, I just want my skin to breathe. I, I didn't, I never really enjoyed wearing foundation. I liked the way it looked, but I never enjoyed wearing it. And now, just eliminating foundation altogether, I just enjoy actually wearing makeup. Um, it doesn't feel as heavy. I don't feel like... I have to constantly worry about things moving around or getting patchy, you know, all those things that come with wearing makeup and just taking a little bit of concealer where I need it is all I need and I feel confident, I feel comfortable. I will say, I think the biggest contributing factor to being more minimal with my makeup is Honestly, just working out and really prioritizing my fitness, my physical health, because I think a lot of that has made me more confident in myself. And not to say that that's the only thing, but I think just having that confidence in my own body and feeling stronger and feeling more confident and feeling just more powerful in uh, myself um, I think that has also helped with just embracing my, just my face, my, my natural features, not worrying about covering everything up. And I think also just being at the gym, I'm just sweating so much all the time that, you know, when I come home from the gym, I just don't want to put makeup on, to be totally honest. Like, I just want to let my skin kind of take a breather, not have anything on it, just be nice and clean. So with that being said, I think I've placed more emphasis on my skincare. Now, not to say that my skincare routine is like this crazy, you know, 10 step routine, um, which is fine. If you do a 10 step routine, that's great. Honestly, if I had the time to uh, dedicate to my skincare routine, I would. I would do like masks more often and um, just treatments and maybe even get like a facial here and there but I really have been making sure to prioritize my skin like after the gym I have my little bioderma micellar wipes that I use to wipe my face down right right after the gym so I don't have all that sweat and oil sitting on my skin it's just little things like that that I've incorporated in my day that um are gonna help my skin and therefore I feel like I don't have to cover it up and wear as much makeup. So something I do every day after the gym, um, as soon as I come home, I take a shower because I'm disgusting. I cleanse my skin and then um, after I get out of the shower, I use an ice roller and that has been one of my favorite things to do. I have never used an ice roller before. I've seen him, I've seen so many people talk about ice rollers. Um, but I just never purchased one. I actually used to use just ice cubes and just kind of go over my face, honestly, just because it felt good. Um, sometimes I feel like my face can just feel a little like puffy after the gym. So I did that, but I was like, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and try one of these little ice rollers. So I just bought one off of Amazon and I love it. So it's something that I can do right after I take a shower. I can just do that while I'm making my coffee or making my smoothie or just kind of getting ready for the work day. 
um, I can do that and multitask. I sometimes like ice roll while I'm answering emails. That's a little more difficult. Um, sometimes I'll ice roll while I'm editing a video. Um, so, you know, I can't just sit there and completely just relax while I'm doing it, but it's just something that I've incorporated into my routine that I think has made such a big difference in my skin and it just makes a difference just mentally because it's just so relaxing and it's something that I look forward to every day. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been doing that. And then on top of my skincare routine, I know I mentioned in my favorites videos that I've in incorporated a retinol into my skincare routine, which has been amazing. Again, it's not to say that I have this huge, long, extensive skincare routine, but it's just taking the time to really make sure that I am taking care of my skin. And I think that has made a big difference in my confidence with, you know, wearing less makeup. Of course, also a lot of it is diet and just, I've been drinking a ton of water, just making sure that I'm drinking water throughout the day. I bought myself this huge half gallon uh, water bottle and I've been drinking, I've been trying to drink two of those a day, drink a gallon of water a day. That is very difficult. But I've been really trying to make sure that I'm drinking a lot of water. Um, obviously my diet has changed a lot and I'm very conscious of what I'm putting inside my body. And that has made a difference, I feel like, just in my, not just my skin, but just my confidence. Um, when I eat well and I know I'm eating really good nutritious foods, um, I always just feel better, you know? I, I never feel good after I eat just like, after I totally just cheat, you know, do like a big cheat meal, which is delicious. And I definitely do that from time to time, but I never really feel good afterwards. So just making sure from day to day that I'm, you know, just eating really good foods for my body that are very nourishing. I'm not just eating just to eat. I'm not mindlessly eating or snacking. Um, something I've also tried to be really good about is actually sitting down and eating a meal, not doing on the go things. I mean, the most on the go thing I do is like a smoothie or something, but I really try and sit down and have an actual meal, turn my phone off and just enjoy what I'm eating rather than just what I used to do and that's just not eat all day and then be starving at the end of the day or just kind of, kind of mindlessly snack throughout the day or snack while I'm working or eat while I'm working and I'm trying to cut that out as well. So, so yeah, this whole kind of shift in my beauty routine is a very much an all encompassing kind of lifestyle change and I'm just really enjoying it. I find that I have more time to do things that, not that I, I ever had like a huge beauty routine, but I just, I can do things spontaneously. Like if Chris and I wanna go have a day date just spontaneously or wanna go out to lunch or something like, not that I ever really cared about putting on like a full face of makeup to just go do things like that, but just having that mindset of, I don't need to, cover my face up you know I'm I'm happy with how I look I don't have to you know do my hair and like like right this is just shower air dried hair and this is just how I've been doing my hair either this or in a bun with a hair mask or when I go to the gym I obviously put it up there's such a piece about just not worrying about doing a full makeup routine it honestly takes a lot of stress out of my day. Um, I feel just better about myself as a whole. And I don't know how to describe it, but it's almost like there's just this sense of peace and almost like relief knowing that I, not that I don't have to wear, because I never had to, but there's just not this almost like pressure to have to make sure, okay, well, if I'm if we're going here, I need to make sure I have this amount of time to get ready. I, I need to make sure that I have these makeup products in my makeup bag at all times. Um, like those are the things I used to have to think about and I used to stress about. It's like, oh my gosh, if I if I run out of this foundation, like my life is over. I can't leave my house without wearing this this product or this product. And now it's just like I just don't have that 
I don't put that pressure on myself. And again, it just allows for me to, you know, if I, if I wanna do something spontaneous, it's like, it takes me five minutes to get ready, I'm out the door and I can go spend my time doing something that with my family, with Chris, or even just by myself, that I enjoy and that's going to bring me more joy than sitting there and obsessing and staring in the mirror and making sure that everything on my face is exactly where it needs to be and it's so perfect and I don't want anything to be messed up because I used to just be so particular about my makeup and my brows and just making sure that nothing moved and I, I would constantly have to be checking my makeup all the time like throughout the day have to go to the bathroom just to make sure everything's still good because when you are wearing a lot of makeup um, you know, when something does go awry, it's a little bit more obvious than when if you're not wearing a lot of makeup, you know, you can just kind of like rub it out. It's this piece that I have with just embracing my, my beauty, my natural beauty and not worrying about covering everything up. And it's not to say that wearing a full face of makeup is wrong in any way, shape or form. Like if, if that is your style of makeup, that's part of your routine that you love, then you keep doing that. I think that's amazing. And honestly, one of my favorite things has always been my makeup routine, especially when I used to get ready for work in the morning. I loved getting up early, making coffee, doing my makeup, like taking my time, doing an eyeshadow look, like just having fun with it. And I think there's always going to be that love for makeup and just the creativity. I'm always, I'm always going to want to be creative with makeup, but just from day to day in my everyday life, just favoring what I have naturally. And I think a lot of it is lifestyle as well. You know, my family, we're outside all the time. We walk basically everywhere we go. Um, there's just a lot of stuff around us that we don't have to drive. So we like to be outside and walk. We love to go to the pool. Like we're just a very active outdoorsy family. Obviously everyone is at different places in their lives and their priorities are different. So this is just where I'm at. Um, and I'm just really enjoying it. And as for my hair, like I have the, um, whenever y'all see me with my really long hair, those are just little halo extensions. You literally just like slip them on, slip them off. It's, they're not permanent. Um, it's just like this little, I don't know if y'all ever heard of halo extensions, but it's just like this little headband, almost like a clear headband. And you just lay it on your head and you've got a full head of hair. But I love that because when I do wanna have big voluminous hair and be a little bit more glam, I can just slip that on. But then for every day, I don't have to worry about actually having like extensions in my hair. I can just embrace my hair. And um, I've been really trying to take care of my hair a lot more. I used to use heat on my hair all the time, which there's nothing wrong with that. I actually love curling my hair and doing the beach waver. I used to love doing the beach waver. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of stopped using heat on my hair altogether. Um, I'm just really trying to take care of my hair, do masks regularly and, um, use really good like treatments and oils and things like that. I think for me, it's kind of investing the time that way on the back end, kind of investing time in my morning and evening skincare routine. Uh, investing my time in my hair care routine. So then when I have to get ready, I don't have to take time then to get ready. Funny, I was um, taking pictures with my youngest the other night and we were smiling and taking pictures and I was looking through the photos and I noticed like I have these um, lines around my eyes that I, I never really noticed before. Um, you know, I noticed like the lines, I have lines on my forehead and um, things like that, but I think for my age, like, I think I look pretty good. I'm 32 and, um, but yeah, the other day I was noticing like in my pictures, the lines and I started to kind of be like, oh my gosh, like I have lines on the outside of my eyes. Like what is going on? But then I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, so what? That's, that's, that's what shows your emotions. And I was like, stop it. Stop. Stop talking to yourself like that. Like that's that's how you show emotion. Like when you, when you have frown lines or smile lines or whatever. Like that's that's part of your emotions. And um, no, no shade to those of y'all who use filler, whatever. It's not for me. It's not something I want to do. 
a kind of insecure, those insecure thoughts can definitely kind of creep in. Something that I had never even thought of before. I'd never even been insecure about having lines around my eyes, but I saw one photo and I was like, oh my gosh, I look so old in this photo. But then I was like, no, stop. Like, you look fine. You're fine. That's, you're smiling. Like, that's what happens when you're skin, when you, when you smile. So I definitely still get those kind of thoughts that pop into my head and I have to kind of like shut those down, like tell them to be quiet. So I know just kind of with social media and Instagram and YouTube and everything, it can be easy to get caught up in that world of, well, you can always look better. You know, there's always someone out there that's prettier than you. I say prettier. I think just kind of being, uh, our lives being so heavily saturated with just images of beautiful women and that can really reflect our own insecurities because you see someone who doesn't have smile lines and then you see your smile lines and you're like, oh gosh, like what? Maybe I should get rid of mine. Like her eyes are perfect and mine are not. And I think that's really easy this day and age with so much social media. And honestly, half the stuff on social media is not even real. There's so many filters and just things that you can do to alter your face that where it's not even reality anymore. You never really know truly who's behind the camera, you know, because there's just so much, so many editing things that you can do just within your own phone. It can be hard not to compare yourself to people that you're constantly seeing on your feed. The biggest thing for me that has helped is just having this confidence in myself and knowing that, yes, these are gorgeous women, but I'm also gorgeous and we're just different. And I don't have to look like them and they don't have to look like me and we can all just be different whether we have forehead lines or not, you know? I and just totally so at peace with where I'm at. And like I said, there are always things that I wanna improve, especially just with my fitness, things that I'm always challenging myself with. And I think that's good because that gives me a new goal every single day. And I'm very happy with where I am, but I don't ever wanna be complacent. I don't wanna ever just be like, yeah, I'm good where I'm at. And just not want to try harder and not want to challenge myself and be the best that I can be. Um, there are always things that I want to be better, but there is just this overwhelming peace of mind when it comes to just being barefaced and not worrying about every little imperfection on my face, not worrying about my hair not being perfect, like the length that I want or the volume that I want, like all those things. I'm just so happy with how far I've come and the progress that I've made and the dedication that I put into myself every single day. Um, you know, I'm very proud of myself for that. And I think that that brings a lot of peace and a lot of confidence and just happy with my own skin and happy with my natural beauty, my God-given natural beauty. I'm I don't know, I just, not to sound arrogant in any way, um, but I just love the way that I look without a bunch of makeup on my face. Like I, I love just that more natural, effortless, just natural beauty look. And everyone has it, it's not just me, everyone has it. It's just about embracing it, feeling comfortable in it, and just knowing that you're beautiful no matter what. So I have fully stepped into this more natural, beauty routine and I don't know I'm just happier for it honestly like it just takes so much pressure off of me and it just allows me to enjoy my life more so again this is not for everyone if you love a full beat face then girl you do you again I I love makeup I will always love makeup I love to play with makeup I will still do glam looks on here just know that right after I do that I'm washing my face off and honestly I just feel like more like myself when I am on the more natural side so with that being said I was thinking this might be a cool series on my channel maybe like a I don't know what I'm gonna title it, 
what I'm gonna call it, but like some kind of natural beauty series where I do videos that just kind of show you how I am embracing my feet, my natural features, my natural beauty, and products that I'm loving to, products that I'm loving that just enhance what I already have. And I think I have quite a few videos on my channel that are very much like that because that has been my beauty routine over the past several months. But I think I would maybe like to maybe turn it into a series or do a dedicated playlist or something like that. If that's something y'all would be interested in, please let me know in the comments down below. But it could just be a resource, a place for you to go if you just need some tips or some product recommendations, whether it be hair, skincare, makeup, clothing. Um, we'll, we'll just cover the whole sphere of things. And um, I think that would be really fun. That way, I can still have my moment of glam here on YouTube for those of you who like glam and who like to see makeup tutorials and eyeshadow looks that will forever be on my channel, but maybe reserving a part of my channel just for this realistic kind of everyday beauty routine content. So I think that would be kind of fun and cool and it would challenge me to, um, you know, kind of see what's out there, try different products that kind of fit into this category. And if I can provide y'all with any tips or things that I've kind of learned along the way and things that have helped me kind of achieve this more natural makeup look, um, you know, I think this will be helpful. So I'm excited. I hope this video wasn't too boring. This has been a pretty big shift in my daily beauty routine. So I thought I would share my thoughts. And again, I will put all the products listed down below. It's basically the same makeup I wear every single day that I actually put makeup on my face. Anyway, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you. God loves you. You're beautiful. Embrace your natural beauty, your God-given beauty. It's okay to wear full glamour makeup, but just know that you don't have to. And nobody's perfect. Nobody's skin is perfect. Nobody's hair is perfect. Nobody is perfect. So, all right. Thank you all so much for being here. I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. You are